Hey, what's up, once Anytime Gaming here. Welcome back for another Division 2 video. Well, guys, in today's video, I'm actually going to uh, show you guys how you can actually get the new exotic chess piece, the Ridgeway Sprite. So it's going to be a complete guide. So I'm going to uh, like tell you how you can actually get it. So I would recommend you guys to watch the full video uh, so you can have an idea. So I'm going to tell you like perfectly how you can actually get it. It's like, let me tell you first, this is not easy. Okay, it's really hard to get this chess piece. Um, you need a lot of patience, honestly. And I'm, I'm like, yeah, all of my patients are over like to get these chess pieces. It took me like three days to get it uh, because I was like mad at, at how you can actually have to get this chess piece. So, so without a further ado, let me tell you what you have to do. So to get this chess piece, you have to play Summit, yes. But if somebody told you to do uh, from 0 to 100 Summit levels, uh, it's wrong. No, you don't have to do that. Uh, well, each Summit has, like, every floor has a difficulty, like different difficulty, like normal, uh, hard, you know, challenging, heroic, and legendary. So every difficulty, you will be able to have a chance like 20 percent chance to get one of these exotic components or parts rather so how you can actually get it first uh each three levels so if you're in a normal difficulty uh at each three level you will find a key now you can't miss the key you will hear the key first when you enter the room uh you will if the key is near you you will hear it and if you're very near to the uh, like very close to the key uh, you will see it in your mini map in the top left corner you know in the circle you'll see it uh so yeah that's that's basically it. So I, I found the key on the third floor, as you can see, and also uh, I opened the box. Now for this box, once you get the key, you know, clear the room uh, with the NPCs or whatever the uh, thing is going on, just clear it out. And once you advance to the next floor or next room, rather, um, you will you'll see a corridor or something. You will see like a bunch of doors with like a lock box or lock key or whatever that is. So just shoot the lock, you know, open the door and you'll see a big box, like a supply crate box, and you will be able to open that. Now, if you don't find the key, uh, then you won't be able to open the box. So you have to get the key. Like I said, every three level in each difficulty, you will see the key, okay? Every three levels. So, uh, so I found the key at level three, as you can see, and um, I open uh, the box, you know, I, I opened the supply big box at level three. I didn't got it because there's only 20% chance uh, to find these exotic parts. And uh, for the uh, for, for to get it, you just have to keep on like finding the key and open it up. You can actually do it over and over again. doesn't matter. But, but I actually got it on the sixth floor. You know, like I said, three floor each. So at the sixth floor, I found the key and the sixth floor when I opened the box and boom, I got the exotic part. So uh, every floor you have to like do this and get every like exotic part. So there's five of them. And uh, after you get the normal one, you don't have to like advance through any other levels, just directly go to hard. So if you have already got the normal one or any, any level of exotic part, just, you know, advance to the next level. You don't have to do it in order. You can do it any way you want to. You can get the legendary first. You can get the heroic first. It doesn't matter, okay? Just randomly you do it. Just You just have to get five of them. So uh, once I got this one from the sixth floor, I immediately like went to hard difficulty. You don't have, you don't have to complete any levels. Just uh, directly go to the lobby and then just, uh, you know, fast travel or like put yourself to hard difficulty and do that. Remember, every three level, you'll see the key uh, or like hear the key. And when you're close to the key, you will see it in the mini map. So that's why I recommend you guys to do it without the directive ones, you know, the direct, without the directive floors. Because when you get that Fog of War directive, you won't be able to see these keys in your mini map, you know, uh, on the top left corner. You won't be able to see it. So you just have to find it. It's a little bit of a waste of time. But you can't really miss it. It, it will be there in the room once you enter it, once you hear it. Uh, you will be uh, able to get it. It's like in, it's not like hidden or somewhere. It's just like uh, in a corner of the room or like at the top floor of the room somewhere. You will see it. You you can't miss it. Okay. And once you get the key, like I said, uh, at the corridor or like after you clear the room, uh, you will be able to like see these doors with a uh, lock on it. Just shoot the lock. Sometimes you have to shoot like an electric yellow color, like a box uh, to open the door. So just, you know, open the door and you'll see the big supply crate box and, and just uh, open that. And there's only 20% chance uh, to get one of these at each difficulty level. And once you get it, just advance to the ne next difficulty and every three level, find the key, open the box. So that's basically it. So you have to get uh, all five of them. And those five of them are called... Uh, let me show you in my resource tab. I can show you. I, I have it here. So, so it's called, look at that. The normal one, it's called the vest, normal body armor. 
Uh, the hard one is vest hard shoulder pads. Uh, the challenging one is a vest challenging hunting knife. Um, the, the heroic one is vest heroic flag patch and the legendary one is vest legendary dog tags. So you have to find all five, five of these. And once you get them, uh, that's it. That's basically it. Just get them and uh, go to like 100 level. You have to clear the summit actually. Once you have all these five uh you know exotic parts you have to finish the summit you don't have to uh like complete the entire summit you can go like 91 you know the checkpoint of 91 and do nine floors or if you have a friend or like a clan member or somebody doing like 90 uh, plus like 95 96 just join them you know ask them if you can join them and do that so once you uh, clear 100 floor like kill the hunters and stuff you don't have to kill it just have to finish the summit just once you finish it fire the flare and then the project will be given to you like you, see, you can see right now i got the project and once you get the project it's not done you have to do something okay once you get the project you have to uh like donate some bunch of stuff so what is it let me sh let me show you so first you have to donate a weapon with sadie's talent yes and then you have to donate a 0F chess piece because that's perfect unbreakable talent. So you have to donate Sadie's talent, perfect unbreakable talent. A Sadie's one could be any weapon, doesn't matter. Uh, you just have to donate a Sadie's weapon. And uh, perfect unbreakable, as we all know, it's 0F. So you have to donate that. And then you have to donate an exotic component. So once you do that, that project will be over and then a new project will be given to you. Yes, a new project will be given to you. I know it's a lot of stuff. So yeah, a new, new project will be given. And in this new project, you have to uh, kill all the factions named NPCs. Like you have to neutralize three hyena, hyena bosses. You have to neutralize three Trusen's bosses, three outcast bosses, cleaners, rikers. So that's basically all you got to do. And also you have to donate three keys. Yes, three keys, faction keys, three factions keys. So three uh, hyena keys. You have to donate three Trusen keys, three outcast keys, cleaner keys, riker keys, you know, black tusk keys. So all of these. So after you do that, uh, then you have to kill three rogue agents and then you have to kill three hunters. Now, these rogue agents and hunters, um, my like my friend said that it can be done by anyone else and it will count. You don't have to kill them. But, you know, I just wanted to be a little safe. So I just killed them by myself, you know, just to be sure and don't want to like screw things up. So what I did is I basically did the control points, you know, of every factions because you get the named bosses in the control points and you just kill them. And once you clear the control points, sometimes, you know, the rogue invades you, like, you know, the rogue agents come at you. So you can kill the rogues right there. Or you can do the missions, you know, you find rogue agents in the mission invading you. Or if you're doing the summit and you already have this thing uh, active, like the project is active, uh, so you can kill the rogue agents in the summit. Basically anywhere in the open world, you can just, you know, kill the rogue agents so it, it will count. All right. Now, for the hunters... Uh, yeah, for the hunters, you have to neutralize three hunters. So I completed all my hunters, so I can't like find them. So I have to like go to my friend's session who hasn't done the hunters. And I have to like uh, tell him to spawn the hunters and then I have to kill him. Uh, like I said, I didn't took any chances with this. So uh, my friend said that if he kills him, it will count for me as well. But I didn't want to take chance. So I just killed him by myself. So that's basically it. You can spawn the open world hunters. You know, if you have a friend who hasn't done the hunters, just, uh, you know, go help him out and spawn the hunters. He'll get the mask and you'll get the kill. So that's basically it. So after doing all of these, finally, the project will complete and you will get the uh, Ridgeway chess piece given to you at your crafting bench. So right now, as you can see, I'm at my crafting bench. I haven't crafted it yet. I'm going to craft it live right now while recording. So you can see there's the chess piece over here, Ridgeway's Pride. So you can see the all the exotic past uh, and, and you need like 60 fabric. So I'm about to craft it. So let's see how the rolls are. Uh, so yeah, that's uh, okay. So I got max weapon damage and like crit chance. I'll roll it later on. So once you craft it, I'm pretty sure Anaya will be able to sell me the blueprint. All right, she's not selling right now. So I have to like log out maybe probably. So I'll see it. So yeah, that's basically uh, the guide for this chess piece. Uh, you will be able to get it like this. So I will do like a video uh, on this, not a review. I will like try to make like a, uh, you know, uh, a build video. I have some build video in mind. So yeah, stay tuned for the channel. I hope I, I was able to like, you know, give you guys a 
good idea of how you can get the chess piece. But if you have any questions, do let me know in the comment section. And yeah, that's basically it. So I will see you guys in the next one. Till then, peace.